Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. That was a well-drawn-up play for the wideout. Yeah, they saw something upstairs. It led to a touchdown. You can thank the play calling there. Very impressive. sails out of the end zone for a touchback. It's been a good one so far today. Let's see what happens here. With it being a one-possession game and over two minutes to go in this game, there needs to be some urgency from this offense. But at the same time, you can't panic. You can't force the issue. Let the game come to you, but have some urgency to you to try to give yourself a chance at a touchdown here at the end. So if you're the offense here, what's your mindset right now? Well, I think they're anxious to get back out on the field. Last time out, they drove right down the field, so they know they can move it. Throws and it's incomplete. Rogers intended to see the Let's see how the defense handles the no huddle. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. He's to the 40. That's a great tackle at the 47. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it wide he makes the catch and has a first down that makes it first and ten they spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers great concentration They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. And that sets them up for the first and goal. And 15 on the play. That makes it first and goal. So here we go. First and goal, and a field goal won't cut it. They line up in the jumbo set. On the run, touchdown. He just followed the push of the big guys up front and found some room for the score. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he tacks on the extra point. Owens. Ready to kick. And this is just a booming kick. And they can forget about returning this one. Now, what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. You know, you can almost see his confidence rising with every snap that he and this offense take. And can you imagine looking at this video right now, being a defensive back? You just want to forget about this football game. It's, you know, you ask the coach, please, coach. Do we have to look at the film? Let's just move on to next week. They'll set up shot at the 25-yard line. He's to the 40, and he hauls that one in. They'll bring him down at the 44-yard line. Robinson on the tackle at the 44-yard line. First down. He's just reached a key milestone, 1,000 yards in one season. That's very impressive. He should be proud because he's put in a lot to get here. Not everyone's willing to go the extra distance to better themselves.
So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. He's tackled at about the 41. Second and seven. Ball on the 41-yard line. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Halfback gets the call, and he answers big time. He's at the 30. Nothing tentative on that run at all. He looked very determined and got the first down. From the 29-yard line, it's first down. Winston gets the ball, and he's taken down at the 27-yard line. UTEP's going to use their first time out of the half here. From the 27 yard line. It's second down. Here's a running play. Tackle made right around the 14 yard line. First down. First and ten. Ball on the 14. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. Winston gets about four yards on the play. That makes it second and six. Second down, six yards to go. Ball on the 10-yard line. A little over a minute in the game. And he's tackled at the 10-yard line. Texas El Paso will take their final timeout. This is the eighth play of the drive. Loose football. They fall on it. So the offense turns over the pigskin. The ball carrier here was just careless in handling the ball. And a great awareness by the defense to jump on it. So the question on this one is whether or not the ball carrier's knee hit the ground before the fumble popped loose. Well, after seeing the replay, it was apparent that his knee was down before he lost the ball. Yep. Those guys in the booth aren't perfect, but they got it right this time. Tied up here in the fourth. Now would be the time for a goal line stand. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. He takes a knee. Yeah. 
defense and their short yardage package. Tackle just outside the goal line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That makes it third and goal. The Huskies don't like the looks of things. They're going to take their first time out. Kicks away. And he got it. Game over. And that gives them the lead. I know that I call kickers head cases, but this kid isn't one. It's like he doesn't even feel the pressure. Connecticut is the national champion. The score is the Connecticut Huskies, 45. The Miners, 42. Kirk, go ahead and just give us your reflections on this game. Connecticut made the journey and finished it off with the national championship. It really couldn't have happened to a better bunch of kids in a classier school than this. They battled all year. Whenever it got tough, they came together and came out on top. And now they're on top of the polls, the world, everything. Congratulations to our national champions. And for Vincent, he wins player of the game honors. For Connecticut, they rack up their 13th win of the year. That's it for this presentation of NCAA Football 13. For Kirk Herbstreet and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you soon.